Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Shanalee, and today I'm sharing with you my recipe binder. It has been a work in progress over the last year, and it's definitely expanded and become more functional over time, but I'm so in love with it. I just wish I had done it years ago. And you'll just need a couple basic supplies. You'll need your free printable dividers. I love this green. Uh, your tabs, you can buy divider pages, but I prefer to get the plastic Avery tabs. They're really durable and I can put them anywhere I want in my album. And then you'll need your plastic sheet protectors. I just get some cheap ones off of Amazon. And when you're picking out a binder, try and pick one that has this nice window in the front, because then you can personalize it and add any kind of uh, title page cover that you want. And I'm just so happy that I found this album on Amazon and it matched up the greens perfectly. Um, I call it the Martha Stewart green, <laughs> but I suppose it's more of a turquoise color. And uh, it's a two inch binder, but I'll have everything, all of the supplies that I'm using listed below. Ever since I was first married, I have been obsessed with collecting recipes. I will message all my family and I will be like, what are your favorite recipes? And at one point I was making recipe books, typing them out, binding them with like the plastic coil um, spine and uh, getting it printed at the Office Depot. and. I was printing them out as gifts for friends and family, and it's just become a hobby of mine to collect recipes, especially ones that I know that people love. But unfortunately, it was a lot of work, and the downside was because it was coil-bound, I wasn't able to add recipes to it. But I found as time went by, the way I looked at recipes changed. I found I wasn't reaching for a recipe book as much anymore. I was looking online or people were sharing fun recipes on Pinterest and Facebook. And then I joined some uh, food groups and they'd share things there. So I was constantly going on all these different websites and trying out a recipe and loving it and not printing it off and wondering like where was that recipe and <laughs> losing it forever so now i'm at a point i will print off my recipes and put them in my binder so let's go ahead and dive right in and many of these recipes that are in my album are tried and tested recipes that we love to eat over and over again so it's a two inch binder and the free printables had the back cover, the spine, and the front cover. And here are my tabs. I have seven different tabs. I've got um, main courses, soup, salads, breads, dessert, breakfast, uh, healthy, and other. And the dividers are so fun. They coordinate and they go with the cover. And the website that I got these from have a lot more categories. I just picked the categories that work for me. I didn't want a whole lot. And I got the free cover and divider printables from thegraciouswife.com and I'll leave that link below. As much as I love recipe books and owning recipe books, I needed to switch to something that was more functional and this is what works best for me. It's great to have a catch-all place for any recipes that I print from online, uh, which is where most of my recipes come from these days. So what I did is like, for example, here's a cookbook that I have used for many years. They definitely get kind of grimy <laughs> and well used. But for the example, this basic pizza dough recipe, I've used it many, many, many times. And I just go ahead and print that and put it right in my album. Because I'd rather have one spot to go to than have to reach for a bunch of different recipes. So that's in here as well. Nowadays with cell phones, what you can do is just take a picture of a recipe book and print it out and slide it in. So you don't have to spend all that time typing everything out. So let's have a look. 
On the left, I have recipes that I've recently printed that I haven't gotten around to putting in plastic sheets yet. I've got cheesy pizza sticks, homemade granola, and some zucchini bites. If I don't like the recipe, it doesn't end up in my album. So let's go ahead and put these in my album before we begin. So I would say pizza sticks is a main course. It is a dinner item. I like to keep spare plastics at the back of each section. And there's granola. So this could go under other, it could go under breakfast, or it could go under healthy. I plan on putting this under the healthy section as well as the zucchini bites. So I like to have it double-sided. So I'm gonna put this in a plastic sleeve back to back. So my healthy section is in the back. I also keep the menus from takeout spots. So those are on hand if we want dinner out. And then I also have these sheets here. And these are cards that you get uh, from Chef's Plate the meals that get mailed to your door. Keep my favorites. Uh, there's the spinach cauliflower fettuccine alfredo and the glazed turkey meatloaf and these actually do fit in plastic sheets as well. So if you do get subscription boxes you can keep these and make it over and over if you would like. And glazed turkey meatloaf. We are a meatloaf loving family. <laughs> we frequently have meatloaf. So we will put these in our main course area. So it's as simple as that, adding to it. And now for the rest of this video, I'm going to flip page by page and show you some of my favorite recipes. But before I continue, I wanted to show you this notepad that I got off of Amazon. And it's for planning out your meals each week. So it's Monday through Sunday, and you write down what you're going to eat and the groceries needed for each item. So I want to have a closer look at this in my next video and it's going to be all about how I use my recipe planner. Stay tuned for that video, it's like a part two to this video. So let's dive right in and you can see some of my recipes. I have one of my friend's meatball recipes and then I have an air fryer meatball recipe and I've used both many times and they're delicious. These meatballs I will pour marinara over top of and have meatball subs. I put a little star in the corner because we love it so much. If the layout looks like this, it's because I typed it myself and I took this photo myself and I took that photo myself and I just drag it into my Word program. I just think it looks better with a little photo. I have ratatouille, scalloped potatoes, this is pretty much the format I have throughout the whole album, and I will show a little clip in my Word program of the layout that I chose. It is super basic and easy to navigate for when I type out my own recipes. I wanted to show you my Word document where I type out my recipes. I like to keep everything somewhat uniform, so I always add a photo, and then I bold 
the title and then I add the ingredients and the instructions below. Baked spaghetti, creamed peas, tuna melts, beef stroganoff. So this is an example of one that I didn't type out and this is from allrecipes.com. Red lobster mussels, it's kind of a copycat recipe. I have tweaked that over the years. They are to die for. All off the bone ribs, homemade egg rolls, baked beans, this is my grandmother's recipe, maple salmon, salmon cakes, beef tacos, teriyaki chicken thigh skewers, fajita quesadillas, cheeseburger quesadilla, garlic Tuscan chicken, garlic sun-dried tomato pasta, creamy pasta with cherry tomatoes and basil, more pasta, enchiladas, mushroom gravy, we always have this with pork chops, macaroni casserole, my mom's recipe. We eat this all the time. <laughs> uh, sushi bowls, sushi, this is another recipe. Um, I've only made sushi a handful of times, but I love it. Cranberry chicken, lasagna rolls, shepherd's pie, hodgepodge. Uh, I have the cream gravy with my pierogi casserole, uh, funeral potatoes, pierogi casserole, deviled eggs, bruschetta pizza, chicken quesadillas, pan chicken dinner, shrimp alfredo broccoli bake, twice baked potatoes, lasagna, chili, tuna patties. Um, I have two different ones, one from a website and one that I've been using for years. Uh, ham glaze, stuffed shrimp shells, mushroom pork chops, garlic shrimp, Irish stew, Panda Express sesame chicken, and orange chicken, sriracha chicken, uh, Donairs, I've tweaked this recipe over the years and it literally tastes like restaurant Donairs. Uh, chicken thighs with mustard sauce, sizzling Southwest burgers, chicken bacon ranch casserole, fish batter, lo mein, there's a chicken one and a vegetable, uh, sloppy joes, uh, this is kind of a recipe I have um, adapted over the years. The kids love it. Pizza sticks and the chef's plate. Next section is sa soups and salads and I've got taco salad, black bean quinoa salad, avocado and peppers, comes borscht. We make this all the time. Broccoli cauliflower soup, chipotle chicken tortilla soup, chicken noodle soup, macaroni salad, broccoli salad, hamburger vegetable soup, another recipe I've made many times. The next section is breads. We make cornbread often, the kids love cornbread, baking powder biscuits, English muffins, dough boys, and roll cooking. We have this like a fried donut that we eat with watermelon. Then we have desserts, peanut butter cookies, strawberry cheesecake, caramel apple fruit salad, banana bread, strawberry cobbler, rhubarb cobbler, coconut cream pie, oatmeal chocolate chip cookies, fantastic recipe, red velvet cupcakes, another amazing recipe, uh, my nanny's, my gram other grandmother's donut recipe, soft molasses cookies, cream cheese frosting, um, sex in a pan, dark chocolate cake, it's my mom's recipe to die for, the most moist chocolate cake you can imagine, paponate, vanilla cake, pound cake, Oreo cookie balls, um, chocolate lava cake, Yeast donut, I've got two different ones. Apple crisp, 
one of my favorite all-time desserts. Butter cake, chewy pumpkin oatmeal chocolate chip cookies. Um, fritters, macadamia nut cookies. Love. Cinnamon buns, coconut cake, cherry cheesecake cookies. Cheesecake Factory copycat recipe, the vanilla bean cheesecake, sour cream coffee cake, zucchini bread, blueberry lemon loaf, old fashioned gingerbread, another family favorite, uh, carrot cake. Um, I have one from a website and then I have the one that my cousin makes like the best carrot cake you can imagine, full of pineapple and walnuts and so many delicious things cream cookies another lemon blueberry cake s'mores this is so easy it's like seven minutes in the oven chocolate and marshmallows tiramisu lemon poppy seed cake blueberry muffins and protein balls which probably should be in the healthy section the next category is breakfast and brunch. So we got waffles, banana pancakes, oven baked French toast. Um, my husband grew up with this, so good. Waffle maker hash browns, broccoli ham quiche, another ham and broccoli quiche, gingerbread waffles, scrambled egg muffins, Spinach quiche, healthy egg McMuffin cups, a couple different recipes of those and these we tried over the weekend for the first time and they were a huge hit, bacon cheddar cornmeal waffles. And then I have other and this could be anything between dips, sauces, drinks, so we got honey garlic sauce, spiced apple cider, spinach artichoke dip, fruit punch. Uh, barbecue sauce. I'd always wanted to try making my own barbecue sauce. It's kind of like a sweet with heat kind of thing. Crab dip, another hit. Pickles, fruit dip, pina colada popsicles, just anything um, other. And then the healthy section, which doesn't have a lot in it. It's got granola and zucchini bites. So there's definitely room for expansion. And I do have a lot of recipes still in cookbooks that I do want to take photos of and or type and put in here as well. And hopefully eventually everything will be in one spot. Stay tuned for my next video where I will be going through my recipe organizer and going through the how I make my weekly menu plan and grocery list. I always have a hard time figuring out what meals I'm going to eat every day of the week, but I find if I do it ahead of time, then I can take out what meat or um, go to the grocery store and get what I need the day before if possible. And if you have any recipes that you love and would like to leave the links below, please do so. I would love to add it to my album and give it a try. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.